Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Pink Diamond, Joe Harris, another one of the takeover players for um, this new All-Star Showcase event that will reward you with a free Galaxy Opal Russell Westbrook here in a couple weeks. Huge shout out to my boy, Zach, for letting me hop on his account to record this video, in addition to the Carl Malone get video, Andre Drummond video, and Quentin Richardson video, so I really do appreciate him for letting me use all these cards. Interested to see how this card is, if he's good, bad, where he fits at the shooting guard position, I really don't know, because I haven't looked at the card at 2 KDB, so I really don't know what this card is looking like but before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 10,000 subscriber mark on the channel upload multiple videos every single day and i would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it see what joe harris is looking like so he's 6'6 six, six at shooting guard 99 offense 89 defense 88 driving layup 95 midi 97 three ball 80 driving dunk that's not actually horrible 86 ball handle the perimeter defense and steel are fine the block and interior is kind of low uh 89 speed and excel is also kind of meh and then 88 lateral quickness is fine it's so defensively and athletically, he doesn't look great, which really isn't a surprise, but he should be an incredible shooter. Hoff agent three, amped blinders, catch and shoot, claymore, corner specialist, guard up, limitless range, slippery off ball, and then Hoff off ball pass. So nine of his 10 Hoffs are shooting badges. 24 gold badges include bully, fast switch, limitless takeoff, posterizer, uh, comeback kid, dead eye, uh, ankle breaker, bailout, break starter, clamp, break quick first step, challenger, clamps, glove, pick dodger, silver, pro touch, and hyperdrive. So no handles for days on this card. Not really gonna be much of a shot creator. He's just gonna be a shooter on the offensive end of the court. Um, he's got, needs rise up i guess um unpluckable ankle braces pogo stick maybe or chase down artist or something like that so not a ton of key badges that he's missing to be fair he doesn't have like anchor and limitless takeoff and things like that but in terms of badges to add there really isn't a ton um but let's see what his release is looking like because really that's what's going to make or break this card when you have a card that is really b basically a pure shooter like joe harris is he's got to have an elite release and i gotta say he might have a pretty elite release. That release feels really good at, at first glance. It's fast. It seems pretty smooth. And it seems pretty easy to green. I just got a terrible catch there. So ignore that miss. But um, yeah, I'm not greening as much as, I, as I'd like to. I'll say that. But his player build looks good for 6'6". I'll say that. And he's got, he seems to actually move pretty decently. Why is Joe Harris doing windmills? What in the world? Maybe he's a slasher. Maybe this card's a dog. What in the world? He might be tough on the offensive end of the court. I don't know. Normal size up is fine. The release, like I said, I really like it a lot. And the movement seems pretty good like i think he's gonna be pretty solid at the pg position not pg shooting guard position obviously no handles for days is really gonna limit his playmaking capability but at least it looks like he's gonna give you a little bit of that and in terms of shooting there may not be a better shooting guard in the game or at least he's gonna be right near the top so top into the game let's see what joe harris can do all right four to nothing deficit so far could be a lot worse could be a lot better see what we can get going on the offensive end of the court he's gonna give joe harris a wide open that is not a contest. He jumped from so far away and got a freaking fluke contest there. That is so annoying because I don't feel like he was like in great position there or anything, but he did get a good contest and he's not going to green that three, which is good because we definitely did not need to give that up. See if we can get Joe Harris a catch and shoot look. He really can't create his own shot much, which is unfortunate, and he does not help off the pop at all. So we're going to have to attack inside and we'll take the end one with magic. Going to have to create shots for Joe Harris a bit though because he's really not that great of a playmaker. If he had handles for days, it'd probably be a different story, but not having elite speed and not having handles for days, even though it's or semi-solid is going to prevent him from being a great great shot creator um, but we're gonna have to see what we can get going for him on this game because off the catch and shoot he should be an absolute demon just sniping away threes and four pointers in this mode but let's keep it going only down by one so far see if we can get ourselves a stop and start working on the offensive end with mr harris uh good defense by magic good get up good good dj yep good beautiful cut off the drive as well this is a quality defensive possession should be a stop good contest by joe he smokes the release and we're gonna get the board and throw it up immediately to joe harris that was kind of a bad pass i kind of forced it but normal fade me joe yes sir good look he's can't leave like that bad defense norm joe harris knocks that down half limitless range half agent threes with all the other shooting badges he has y'all know what i'm gonna say that normal fade is absolutely amazing you love to see it we got to get up and contest better though dirk i tried to click on to dirk and contest but i was late that's my fault Loki should be a transition take foul when you foul like that that early in the possession, but I guess that wouldn't technically be right because it's not transition considering they just scored, but uh, let's see if we can get Joe another catch and shoot look or something along those lines if possible. Uh, driving here. Yes, sir. He goes down with Kobe. Should not have done that, but I smoked. Goodness. Was that a bad catch or did I just shank the release? I really don't even know, but definitely not ideal regardless. Um, good. Okay. Yao just, he plays everything. Yao, man, I miss Yao. Have, not having it on my nobody spent count definitely puts me at a little bit of an advantage against people who have him because that card is just ridiculous but y'all see it he just no handles for days can't create his own shot that's the main thing honestly that's going to hold this card back is the fact that he's not going to have any sort of shot creation i think at this point in the game even if you are an elite shooter you've got to have a little bit of shot creation ability and unfortunately i'm not sure joe harris really provides that 
did not press X there. I don't know why Yao fouled because I did not touch my X button, but whatever the case may be, we are currently down by two. Definitely think we can still win this game. Probably should win this game, but not quite in the position of doing so, so far. I do need Joe Harris to play some defense though, because it looks like he's going to attack him on this possession. Get back in front of Kobe. Beautiful. Straight up. Nice. Don't get mashed. Now don't get mashed, Joe. That's the main thing that I'm asking. Straight up. Okay. Nothing he can really do there, to be honest. Just all the candy blows by Yao and a good play by him. So pushing the ball up the court again. Joe Harris attacking all the way. Yo, I know you don't have unpluckable, but that is crazy. I don't think he's in position to get that bump at all. And yet, that's a bad shot, too. What am I seeing? Like, I don't know how he gets that bump there with uh with, with uh Kobe, man, or Oluwakandi, or whoever got the bump. Definitely don't think that should have been deserving of a bump steal, but size it up away. Dude. Is it really that big of a deal that he doesn't have unpluckable? Like, seriously? We're getting plucked again? We get a freaking bump in a position where he did not look like he was in position for a bump, and then we get... We're down eight. Goodness gracious, we're getting popped right now. I did not realize that. Um, but, yeah, that's crazy to me that that wound up being a bump. Joe Harris to the rim. He gets blocked. Yeah, I don't know. Not not thrilled. Not super athletic. Can't really create his own shot. Unpluckable is an important badge that he doesn't have that he can get, but we're getting destroyed right now. Joe Harris is not hoping for me at all, and I guess that's the limitations of a guy who's really only a shooter. Like, what else can he do at a high level besides shoot the ball? Looks like the answer right now is not much, um, especially since we're not really creating ourselves good shots. That's another force, to be completely honest, and uh, yeah. Luckily, we got the board, so I guess we got a chance at another possession, but um, he's freaking gassed, too. Like, I guess we can get inside and get a layup. We'll take it. He's got five points, but he hasn't been able to get much going in this game. And a couple of good looks we have gotten, I've shanked the releases. So definitely do not love to see that. And I got to say, I'm not very impressed by the card. And that's the second one of these Tegra players that I have not been impressed with. Him and Andre Drummond haven't used Quentin Richardson as of the time of recording this video, so we'll have to wait and see how he looks. But... Definitely not impressed by Joe Harris, particularly. I just, you, you gotta be able to do a little bit more than shoot, and unfortunately, he doesn't do much more than shoot at all. Good move by my opponent. Looks like he's gonna wind up getting the win against us, so it is what it is, but gotta say, man, uh, gotta be authentic with y'all, and Joe Harris, he's just not the card, man. Plain and simple. Front fade here, he does knock down the mid-range. We'll take that. He's gonna be a great shooter, but I just don't think he does enough else besides shoot the ball to really warrant a spot on a good team, so... Uh, definitely just something to keep in mind here. And this guy I was playing really is not even all that great. Like his shot selection is pretty questionable and stuff. So just not particularly impressed with Joe Harris's inability to create a shot for himself. Now we're just kind of forcing because late in the game and want to get him another look from three. But the efficiencies has not been there this game, plain and simple. And um, that's not the only thing that hasn't been there. We just haven't been able to do much in terms of anything shot creation wise or anything like that with Joe. So uh, walking back here, we get a good amount of space. That's a wide open look and that's a deep three. That's what I, that that's what he can do. He can he can get himself some threes plain and simple he will get them up when he has the space i know i haven't done a great job throughout this game did he really i hate that i i, I guess his, his late game fouling is on auto because we literally are outside i don't know how they haven't programmed programmed that better by the way it was an issue last year too but the cpu and clutch time will foul when there's more time left on the game clock than there is on the shot clock if it's under 24 seconds because they're programmed to foul under 24 seconds like that in um in regular unlimited which is obviously a 24 second shot clock but this mode which is not a 24 second shot clock they still do that which is quite frustrating to me i don't know why that's a thing to be honest but um yeah we're only down by four i guess but it still looks like we're going to come out of here with an l unless he does that um he's giving me a chance why would you do that that was super stupid because i was just going to accept my loss i wasn't even going to foul but he shoots the ball for some reason which is i guess going to give us a chance to win the game so we'll have to see what happens here um but I'll try to get the last shot with Joe if I can. Um, I can't even. I click on my icons. What in the world? Uh, drag back, Joe. It's normal fade. Oh, oh! I didn't have time to get it up. I actually had a good look. I was trying to normal fade from four point late range, but I got a flick up. That is tough because we actually had a semi decent look. We almost came all the way back in that game. We were down a lot, but not. I mean, thirteen points is cool, I guess, and the efficiency is all right. But I don't know, man. I don't think this card's for me. Let's hop back to the main menu and let's review the card. Obviously, that was not my best gameplay, and there were a couple of shots in there that I probably should have hit, but I'm not super impressed with this card. He can't do much besides shoot. Plain and simple, there's nothing else on the court that he does an elite at an elite level, and it's too late in the year to use truly one-dimensional cards like this, in my opinion. There's too many good options at all these positions, including at shooting guard. So, Joe Harris, kind of like Drummond, I don't really recommend using the card, to be completely honest with y'all, but hopefully y'all did enjoy the gameplay. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.